stress game controller, a massager for a gamer's crazy eyes, and a holder for mid-game snacks? Watch our new video to learn cool life hacks for people who love gaming. Stevie invites Redhead to play soccer with him. Are you sure you don't want to play? Definitely! Redhead remembers what happened the last time she played against him. Stevie was playing a shooter game, and suddenly his run key got stuck. Horrible timing! Mix Elmer's glue with acrylic paint. Add borax and mix slime. Add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda solution. Remove a few keys from the keyboard. Put the slime inside and return the keys. The stunt button turned Stevie into the Hulk for a moment. The keyboard didn't survive, but at least the destruction revealed the reason for the malfunction. Redhead put pink slime under the keys. What a mean prank! If you don't let it go, you lose a life. Stevie promises to keep himself under control. He's ready for stress. Well, we'll see. Stevie wants to customize his console. Let's put a case on it. Cut a rectangle the size of the console out of cardboard. Cut strips for the sides according to the height with extra on two sides. On one side, make holes for the wires. Score the cardboard and bend it along the lines. Glue a box and attach a PlayStation logo. The console looks great in its case! Now that we're done upgrading our system, we can start the game! Grab your controllers and let's start! The friends are playing soccer. Redhead's team is on the offense. Stevie's defense can't handle the attack. Pass, pass, goal! Stevie loses, but he remembers his promise to be calm and gets out his relaxing controller. Cut a piece the shape of a game controller out of a memory foam pillow. Cut out a trapezoid piece for the center and rounded edges. Put the controller together. Use a template to cut out a controller case from stretchy fabric. Add seam allowances. Sew the case from the wrong side. Turn it right side out. Put the soft pieces in and sew the case fully shut. Attach felt buttons on top and make labels out of a colorful foam rubber sheet. Wrap a round piece of memory foam in fabric and glue it on as a big button. Make a second button and attach felt circles on top. Stevie's soft game controller can handle all its owner's anxieties. Stevie is so angry that he squeezes his gadget. But the de-stress effect is strong. The controller calms the gamer's hands. One aggressive minute and Stevie is calm again. Don't argue with him. Keep playing. Redhead's playing hack and slash and keeps dying. That's unfair. Another loss? All Redhead's outrage makes her scream! And the scream is more like an ultrasound! We need some noise-canceling technology, staff! Mark the sizes of a paper bag on a sheet of polythylene foam. Cut it out. Glue the pieces together like a paper bag. Put the construction into a real paper bag. Draw an oval on the polythylene foam. Cut it out and glue it on top. Glue a printed out label that says, Scream in here. Decorate it with foam rubber sheet pieces and make twine handles. Poor Stevie! He hands Redhead a rescue bag to stop her screaming. Just scream in here! Protect your friend's eardrums! Redhead screamed as much as she wanted to and enjoyed rustling the bag. I feel much better. We can keep playing, but keep this screen bag close. It'll come in handy. 
The round is heating up. Redhead's stressed and hungry. But she doesn't want to leave the game. Snacks keep distracting player number one. And Stevie takes advantage of his friend's hunger and wins the round. Don't be sad, redhead. Stevie has a life hack for hungry gamers. A super snack holder. Cut out a cardboard circle. Divide it into sectors. Score the lines with a knife and bend the piece along the lines. Cut another circle out of felt with a half inch seam allowance and copy the size of the circle on tin foil. Glue the cardboard circle and tin foil together. Cut two trapezoids out of the felt and attach them as dividers inside the circle. Use double sided tape. Fold up. Cover the outside of the construction with felt. Cut corners and turn the edges in. Attach a Superman logo made out of felt and cardboard. Stick Velcro to one side of two strips of felt. Attach the straps to the holder. Put pistachios in one division and the shells in the other. Stevie puts on his super holder. It makes him unstoppable. The young inventor eats pistachios without pausing his game. Hunger won't get the best of Stevie. Stevie's been hard at work gaming for hours. His eyes are tired. Just wait, they'll fall out right onto the game controller. But Stevie doesn't want to give up. To keep her friend from going blind, Redhead puts a funny eye massager on him. Trace two circles for eyes on a sleep mask. Cut them out. Use a heated knife to poke a hole through a ping pong ball. Tone the ball with white acrylic paint. Define red veins. Paint a pupil in the center. Add a highlight. Cover the eyeball with clear nail polish. Cut a piece of wire to be the height of the mask. Insert it into the ball. Glue the wire between the layers of fabric going through the hole. Stevie's crazy eyes got even crazier. At first, he resists, but Redhead gives him a light eyelid massage and puts the tireless gamer to sleep. While Stevie rests, Redhead wins the game and beats all his high scores. Redhead's legs are sore from long hours of sitting motionless playing racer games. She can't get comfortable. Stevie is distracted. Now what's wrong? If your legs are asleep, use a special gamer leg massager. Make a cut in a piece of a pool noodle. Attach decorative spikes. Hot glue them on. Make two holes in two small boxes. Cover the boxes with acrylic paint. Glue a plastic tube into the opening. Put the pool noodle on it and secure it with the second box. Redhead doesn't understand what this is. A new game device? No, dummy, it's a leg massager. Do a little gymnastics and your scores will instantly get better. A massager should be a gamer's best friend. Redhead is racing on her phone. A little more and she's at the finish line. Oops, she was making a tight turn and she lost control of the wheel. What a nightmare. The screen is shattered. Redhead is furious. To keep from breaking her hand along with her phone, Redhead needs something soft to hit. Cut three circles out of different colored sponges. Cut letters out of a foam rubber sheet. They designate the strength of the hit. Light, medium, and hard. Hot glue the letters on. Attach Velcro to the sponges. Glue the sponge with the light designation onto decorative cardboard. Use the Velcro to attach the other sponges on top in increasing order. 
Redhead takes her anger out on the soft sponges. They can handle it all. Got a lot of pent-up rage? Then pick the right setting for how angry you are. Hit harder, Redhead! Her hands and nerves stay safe, but unfortunately, her phone is still broken. Did you like our gamer life hacks? Then let us know in the comments about what your favorite video game is and what life hacks you'll use for it. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss cool new life hacks from Troom Troom.